Just walking up the hill takes your breath away. Imagine what it's like going across several borders from Honduras, Guatemala to eventually make it here, the U.S.-Mexico border, only to wait across the border at a shelter with two other 200 women and children getting your name on the list, hoping that at some point your number would come up. Along the U.S.-Mexico border, Patricio Espinosa, Associated Press. I'm standing here right by the border wall and uh, suddenly the uh, ranchers on the U.S. side are opening up the gates so the cattle from the Mexican side can come across. And uh, it's very interesting because it seems like there's not a lot of security uh, watching what's happening here. Uh, literally anyone could come across. Here they come. Here they come. And so this is one of those things that uh, um, politicians talk about. Uh, what would happen if uh, the U.S.-Mexico border is closed? Well, what would happen is like uh, operations like this one, uh, bringing Mexican cattle into the U.S. for consumers, um, it may come to a stop. 